carefully reviews Daniel Catan's musical career, we'll be able to see something that distinguishes him among composers of his generation. When many of his colleagues were entering the intricacies of the avant-garde, he only seemed interested in gathering the conceptual and aesthetic elements that would allow him to achieve a very clear objective, the construction of works in the Spanish language. This will essentially become his creative ideology throughout his life. I think it's a work of extraordinary depth and beauty. That is the most relevant thing that a work can be. That, that means that this is work that's relevant forever. And for me, that really symbolizes Daniel. He was a person who, on the surface of the water, let's say, was very, very genial and sweet and kind and such a ray of light. But underneath all of that was this complexity and depth and that that will always be Danielle in my memory. The imagery, I have to emphasize the magical realism. It is part of the Latino culture. It is something that we grow up with.
together and the sense of economy and the unapologetic operatic uh, fiber of it. You know, this is an opera with arias, duets, trios, and quartets. <laughs> Is John Doe. It's obvious that he's No, he says there's no time to lose. You are the hope of the world, all of this. Awake, awake. Yeah, that's him. That's his own voice, talking to all of us. <laughs> 